Good morning, friends. Sitting out here enjoying some southern Arizona sunshine. Trying to uh, dry out and warm up after a big monsoon storm yesterday. We went for a drive yesterday, and it turned out to be considerably more of an adventure than we had anticipated. Let's go for a drive. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So we're heading into the Huachuca Mountains here, and it looks like there might be some rain. That's in Mexico. And that mountain right there is in Mexico. And if I zoom in, right there, I can't really see it. I can see it with my eyes. It's a border wall. The big, beautiful border wall. We're on our way up to Montezuma Pass in the Coronado National Memorial. Montezuma, of course, was the emperor of the Aztecs in Coronado, a Spanish conquistador who was looking for the seven cities of gold. A lot of homesteads out here. People had decided this was a beautiful place to live, and we just passed Desperado Lane. Cows like it here, too. A lot of grass to eat. like cows eating grass hit that subscribe button now so you see the fence post swirling by right there's a story about Jerry when he was a little boy curious little boy driving down a country road with his mom and his dad he had a question he said mom how come the fence posts don't grow on the other side of the road a lot of them got horse trailers Cows eating grass over here. Oh, yeah, geez, I missed them. I believe we are going right up to the peak of that mountain, the very tippy top. Reportedly, the views are incredible. out why Coronado National Memorial is memorialized, imagine, searching for the seven cities of gold for two years and finding none. In 1540, some 1,500 seekers came this way. Here's a picture of them. Wow, that's a lot of them. Francisco Vasquez de Coronado's journey started the Spanish era of exploring and settlement in this region. The history of the expedition and its lasting impacts are part of the heritage shared by the peoples of both Mexico and the United States. Francisco Vasquez de Coronado was a Spanish conquistador. Here is a topographical display of where we're at. Um, lots of canyons and trails neat area. I'm thinking the star is where we are. And the highest peak is where we're going. And what is Bug Boy finding? Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, oh, all the plants are labeled. Yeah. Salvia lemonile. Sage. Oh, salvia is sage, right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a metallic wood boring beetle right there. A metallic wood boring beetle. Yeah, let me help you zoom in on that. Wow. And then... And then, what else do you have? Over here, there is a yellow and black crab spider blending oh. in with this flower very nicely. Oh my gosh, look at that. Crab spider. Mm -hmm. Yes. And a soldier beetle. A soldier beetle. Mm -hmm. So we're getting one of the uh, professional Sky Islands tours here. Is that right? Uh-huh. What else you got? Honeybee. Let me zoom in. <laughs> yeah, honeybee. 
raining on us again. Got to turn back now, we're too close. So this is the uh, southern Arizona desert, is that right? Yeah, this is the one everybody said, don't come in there, we don't like the desert. It's beautiful. Oh, the border wall. Yeah. We were working our way to the peak we're with thunder area. following us up the canyon. That's the border wall. It goes, where's my finger? Oh, the border wall goes right there. So that cloud is in Mexico. And that mountain peak is in Mexico. Nope. Just when you think you're going somewhere where you're going to be all by yourself, you run into other people thinking the same thing. They're thinking we're going to get down the hill before it starts raining. <laughs> yeah. Almost there. That's where we're going. There's a tower. That might be the that might be a hint as to where we're going. And a sign. And, and where the end of the road is. And, as a matter of fact, why there is a road. Oh my gosh, we gotta get out and look at this. Here's your panoramic view of the border between Mexico and Arizona. The mountains in the distance are in Mexico. There's a border wall down there which doesn't show up in the camera. Beautiful mountains here. Looking to the east, you can see the road we came up. Can you imagine 1,500 conquistadors coming out of the fog, looking for the seven cities of gold up here on their way to Montezuma Pass? You don't have to imagine the rainstorm coming, the thunder booming. It's kind of cold. Some steps if you want to really go to the top. I think uh, with this cold wind blowing down my neck, we're going to skip that today. And it's time to go. Yes, it is. Time oh, oh, wow, we're getting wet. <laughs> Getting wet, Lynn? Well, oh, you got your really hard in a second. Yeah, it's coming right there. Ooh, see the lightning? Wow. Uh, the uh, the drops are getting bigger. Let's go. We want to get back down the hill before we can't get back down the hill. This is a big lightning strikes up ahead. Yeah. Whoa. Well, this was a special trip for Jerry on a special day. Is there anything you guys wanted to say to me? Thanks for coming along. Happy and happy birthday. <laughs> say what, Lynn? Happy 
Okay, well, thank you. How does it feel to be 78? I'm not 78. <laughs> I don't know how it feels to be 78. I'll ask you again next year. I'll let you know next year. This reminds me of my cousin Bruce going to a newsstand in Germany. And he says, I'd like to have a newspaper, the USA Today. And the guy says, you want today's or yesterday's? Bruce says, oh, I want today's. And the guy says, come back tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be water and it's hail. Wow. Yeah, there's going to be water in that wash. Oh, we're in a hailstorm. We're already getting water running down the... I'd like to see double yellow lines so much. <laughs> All is well that ends well, and it did end well, but we pumped some adrenaline back up there on that muddy road coming down the mountain. The crack of the thunder and the crash of the hail on the roof and the water rushing down the road. Wow. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.